And welcome back. This is Kotal for a bit of a bonus for this weekend. This is a, the inaugural battle, the new War of Secession campaign. It is the first battle, which, um, how to describe the campaign? Uh, it's basically a meta campaign, uh, similar to HDC or Grand Campaign, for those that know those campaigns. But this battle is between the Pickett's Brigade attacking the 32nd Ohio as part of the uh, Bull Run campaign. Current server pop is 176. The map is Schoolhouse Ridge. And as you can see, they drew a specific card or environmental effect that it is nighttime. So this will be interesting right now. 86 on the attacking CSA, 90 on the defending Union. They're live at 43. So I'll kind of swing through here and take a look at the two teams. It's like we got MB, Major Provost here, leading some Artie. It's like 8th Alabama is joining them. And let's see, on the CSA team over here, looks like we've got PB is led by Legion. The 8th Alabama led by Lieutenant Goat. 10th Tennessee led by Colonel Knight. CQB led by Bades and Yonzi. HL is led by Wilkes and Macabre and Lamat. Uh, let's see, Andor is leading the MB, and 7th AL is led by Lieutenant Disco. Whether you like or not, what? Check out that Union team here. We've got 32nd Ohio under King Bob. We've got 1st VA under Sergeant Johnson. You've got the IB under Major. I'm not even going to try that one, brother. We got 20th Georgia under Cat Madam. We've got 123rd under Lieutenant Danson. Bratley and uh, Brutish are leading the 9th Corps. And 83rd is led by Bluntist. Got some Artie up here as well. Swing up to them before hopefully the battle gets underway too far. Here we've got IB and the Captain Cosmic with one gun. And 1st Maryland and the Captain Halo with another. So it looks like, so just kind of quick overview on this map. CSA spawn point, there's part of their already. They also have another already battery over there, but a lot of people don't use it. Union already is way up here, and here is the point of contention. Union spawn is also all the way at the top of the hill. Looks like the Union, though, is massing mostly on this corner here uh, with what's called the Tree of Life. Come down here and check it out. This is what they call the Tree of Life here. Hard to see with all the, you know, as dark as it is. And the CSA already is starting to dial them in already. Fire! Cool seeing the flashes of the cannon like that. John, don't you know? I need your Take aim, left oblique. Yep. You see him in the creek? Guys left up with more march. About face, double quick. So the Union, or at least the first VA, is going to let go of volley, and then they're going to fall back to the second line. But they're the only unit that's dropping back so far. Which has created a bit of a kill box here. I'd be charging forward. I don't know what the point of that is. But you can see how now got a bit of a um, kill box here for the CSA at the moment, although the CSA has weight of numbers on this side here if they want to push forward. So far they are massing along this fence. They may be waiting for Artie to do some work on them, soften them up before going forward. Now we are back to the normal um, five second spawn timer, so that is... Uh, no, that was changed for the HDC and TSA, but not for the HRE or the UEC. But for this event as well, it is not changed. And again, this event is um, the War of Secession, WOS. It is held every Sunday at 8 p.m. EST. New event, brand new. Uh, it does have a meta campaign board that starts uh, about an hour prior. An hour and a half. I think it's an hour prior normally. They did an hour and a half. That might have been just for today because of uh, the start of the campaign and world explanation. 
But there is a meta element as well. There's another video up on this playlist that shows you the meta perspective of the battle. Now this game is War of Rights. It is available on Steam for 30 US dollars. And uh, explain the event. Um, I don't have all these units on here, but I do have a number of them that have given me their Discord links. Um, if you're interested in finding a unit, and if any units in here I don't have you listed, just shoot me a DM with your permanent Discord link, and I will include that in the description and in any other future videos I do that you participate in. And then, of course, if you are uh, enjoying the videos, right now CSA is doing a great job about shooting the Union here. They're concentrating their fire here. Right there, and the Union is not getting their flag up in time. We've had a flag on the ground for quite a bit. Oh, there we go. 20th George, we got it up. I'm not surprised. Oh, I'm hearing the uh, immortal voice of Mr. Tank. Up and over left. Remember, we're fighting this for our cousins. Finish your loads. Finish your loads. Okay. And yeah, if you do like the videos, though, uh, like, subscribe. The subscribe button should be in the bottom right of your screen right now. Um, comment, share, all that fun stuff. Help the channel grow. And see more. I don't know if I'll be able to regularly attend this event. Sunday nights is usually not a good time for me, but I will make an effort when I am available to to try to catch this event, just to be front with you guys about it. CSA has occupied this corner here, as you can see. They've occupied that tree of like life and have pushed the Union back over here on this side. And you can see the rest of the Union kind of streaming down from Maine. So uh, they also did a pretty good job of bodying the Union on tickets. You can see they're down below half of Morale State. We're only at 3740. So right now, the CSA is uh, game. Game high at quite an advantage right now. Fire. So it looks like we have 9th Corps and 20th Georgia are going to make a movement along the creek here. Try to outflank or get a done their angle here on the CSA. Let's follow Mr. Uh, let's see who's moving up here. We got Prattley over here. And 20th is over here. It's like 20th is in the lead on it. Bradley's not going as far as 20th went. Get in line, boys. Get in line. Right above that down flag. Form. Take your take aim to the south at the tree. Around the tree. Fire. Right face, counter march right, double quick march. Right face, counter march right. Right, right face. Looks like Wilkes is going to respond and he's going to move out as well. Going to try to flank the Union around the same angle that the Union was looking at. They're running, boys. Now the battle has slowed down quite a bit here. Still decent pace for the CSA, but um, eventually that time might become a problem for them. We'll see. Check them ready, gentlemen. Yeah, all these flendicaculars, this is where the number is staying. Alright, boys, remember yeah, we need to get that one fire. Thank you, man. Flag said you will. Independent fire, three and four. Three and four. Where's the fire? Independent fire. Prepare for the action. Yes, Kid Rock, exactly. Yes, yes. There's the art. Get your ass in line, bro. Fire, we... Hold your fire, your volume's still, boys. 
Looks like we got another maneuver here by the Union. Check that out here in a second after this volley. From the 10th and the 8th. Let's see, who is this maneuvering? So it is first VA. Let's see if Johnson's going to try to get behind the HL here. Well, let's see if he's going to... He's going up and over. Interesting. Up and over, up and over. Doug Bennett. What? What? All the face. Against, 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 against. Aim. Aim. Fire. Reload. Load. Load. And First Sergeant Johnson is going to remain here to try to box in the CSA a little bit here. Normally I try to catch the arty, but with how dark it is, it's going to be tough for me to tell where they're aiming anyway, so hopefully I will see their... Uh, impacts. Uh, I do apologize to the arty guys, but uh, I'm going to stick with the infantry on nighttime. Hopefully I'll catch your splashes as they come in. Shit. Twentieth George is moving up here as well. One per peak, one per valley. Don't all clump up. CSA has plenty of tickets. They've been doing a good job of staying together, so they're not really suffering very many uh, out of line or skirmishing casualties. And you can see how well those effects are having right now. Just, just face the reload and then shift. Just move after you get your load. Yeah. Jack. You see, first VA has basically been treated down to nothing now. Warm up on the new line, 123. 123rd, take A, man. That's snake bench directly in front of us. Left of that tree and behind. Ready, fire. Pull back to the snake bench. Sprint back to the snake bench. Yeah, get your men over here. I got a whole bunch of them on the side over here north. Copy. Legion. Legion. Who's leading them? You can still see What do you want to do? I don't know. They're all of them are over here on the north side. North side of the red. Hey, hey, Legion. Yes, sir. Got a line in that depth We can wipe them out. I know. I know. I'm trying to get everyone consolidated. We could press. I got one. Hey, hey, Wilkes. You got anybody guys die in the top of the uh, have one of them for Don't me. Call. Uh, Check. Uh, north, north, Check. 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 Hey, 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 Andrew. Yeah, like Andrew, 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 Andrew. So it looks like the Union has figured out uh, that flank was not really working all that well, and they are going to head out, but uh, looks like Legion wants to organize a charge here at 31. So at this point, um, they'll be close to engage, so I think a charge... Hey, They've got plenty of tickets. There's no reason not to. Um, he, you know, I don't think it's a bad idea at all. Now the question is, do you leave elements back here to maintain this, or do you send everything? That, I think, is the interesting question. We'll see what they decide to do. Especially with the flags. I might consider leaving the flags back with, them. like, maybe the CQB or the 8th Alabama, some kind of defensive force. So that if the charge doesn't work, you don't lose your flags and you still have control of the tree of life position, but we'll see what they decide to do. Looks like 10th Tennessee is moving out to the left here. They're going to take the creek. HL is going to go up and do the same along with MB. Okay, Bob, that's charging through the creek. Ninth Corps is going to try to get out before the uh, charge comes. We'll see if uh, they can manage it. Get in We're being followed, we're being followed. Full rep unit charging us. Get ready, they're following. On 23rd! See, that flag there is... Up and over, up and over, up and over. Risky. 
George, get behind the blow. Right here on the 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 right Hey, I can charge out that flag. I can charge out that flag with you 30 seconds. Hold, hold, yeah, hold, 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 hold. You might not hear in a second. Wilkes might have something to say about that. Hold the fence, boys. Hold the fence. And Union has hit. Aim a little low, aim a little low. Need height. Need a waist height. Need a waist height. Engaged here. They are in an excellent position here. We got enemies across the fence line southwest. Keep up those shots, Remy open. One play third. Keep shooting, keep covering fire. Yes, I fucking killed him. Here they come. Break loads, charge them. They're charging us. They're charging us. Up and over. Up and over. He's a Rambo. He's a Rambo. You got a wide flank by this unit over here. Here's 20th. Right in front of us on the fence line. Right in front of us. Right in front of us. Fire! Reload. Loot. Right base. Countermarch right up on the march. Countermarch right up quick. 123, clear on the back fence. Independent fire at that flag. We got targets in the creek. Focus fire on that, those flags southwest. If you take down the flag, they'll knock out two riflemen. So right now, I think the CSA can just, if they just maintain this pressure, they'll be in good shape here. Um, you can see they're well ahead on tickets, and they're doing okay on time. <laughs> They are losing way too much morale, and I think a lot of it is skirmishing out of lines, to be frank about it. You say, where? I thought your name was Kotel. No, no, no. Looks like 1st VA and... What is this? IB is going to try to uh, a flank attack here and retake the... Uh, Tree of Life, but 8th Alabama's down here as well as CQB and 7th Alabama, so we'll see how this goes. As long as they're paying attention, this won't be a problem. Break it loads! 8th Alabama is going to head back. Interesting. Guess they want to get some, uh, get this obstacle between them and the other. Valley gentlemen, spread out. Spread the absolute fuck out, we have a charge up here? We have a little bit of a charge, but it's, it's really not much. All right, here comes 9th Corps charging in. This is going to be pretty key here if the uh, Union can manage to win this. It is how it works because I'll have to spend 10 minutes reforming. Okay. I'm dead. Keep it up. Man. The problem is, right now, the Union's getting a little bit too delayed back here. They need to push up more. It's tough in the dark, though. But, yeah, if you can push up, continue push to push up, if you can continue pushing up here for Bradley. So that first VA has been knocked back, but it did draw some support off. Let's see if the Union can keep pushing up and retake the corner here. Again, they need to put everything in right now if they're going to try this. If they don't, they will lose a lot of tickets for no gain. And frankly, that might be the end of it for them. Flag down, flag down. 
If you start an attack, you have to finish it. The flag respawn rate. Oh, I'm tired of hearing about the flag respawn rate. Too bad. The flag respawn rate means they get their manpower back very quickly. Twice as quickly as they did previously. So you can't sit back and wait. You've got to finish it. All these guys back here shooting? Wrong answer. You need to finish this off. Ninth Corps got the right idea up here. You need to knock this out. Back here? This is wrong, in my opinion. This is dead wrong. We're gonna need the rest. Uh, go on the left. Hey, they're going up and over. Right side, right side, right side. 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 Look at how much morale the Union has lost. They have not secured this position. They have not backed down the flags. They have won nothing. As of yet, as good as that attack was, they've won nothing yet, and in fact have lost ground. They have to finish the attack. Now it's coming in, but it's a little bit too late. That should have been going in earlier. The CSA went back to this little angle here and kind of formed up an L formation. Which was a very wise decision, in my opinion. We got reinforcements coming down from Maine. I uh, see it wasn't quite enough. And you still have units back here. I don't know what you guys are doing. I guess guarding the point. I, I guess. Doesn't matter if these guys win. If these guys hold, it's over. You've lost a whole morale state. You're going to be a taking losses at 22 minutes. Now here comes an attack, but it's only one prong. Where are the other prongs? Why aren't these other prongs going in? If one goes in, they all got to go in. Okay, they're not going in. They're just going to stay on the fence. You're not going to outshoot the flag response. And here come the reinforcements. Now you got a wide flank over here. Oh, great. If you're not in the fight, it doesn't matter. Good already shot. We'll see if it can work. Union at taking losses at 2230. CSA almost a full morale state above. It's going to be very hard to disengage from this attack as well. Eighth Alabama, consolidate yourself. Peaks and Valley's on the fence. You got eight reinforcements coming, McCabrain. And Wilkes. Thank you. Oh, oh. oh. So 20th George is doing a wide flank here. Might be he's going to get a couple out of lines here. Which is never a bad thing. See if, I, if 20th here can turn the tide here. It's got to be worth all that time they weren't in the fight. And does this attack go in with anything else? It does not. It is just swallowed up and a loss of a lot of tickets. There's no steam chat, so it's very hard to coordinate. But these little side attacks that you guys used to like to do, it's a lot harder to pull off. Now here comes the attack. We'll see if it's enough. We'll see if it's enough. Again, oh yeah, we're going to get the attack going. We're going to do it. Look at that ticket loss. Look at it. Most of your casualties come from charging. You're skirmishing and out of lines. And then your movements that are disorganized. What the... Right across the road. Oh my god. I literally spawned and got hit by already. I'm still and the CSA has not been pushed off yet. They are still holding, they still have their flags. Still these Yankee fucks, boys. Hey, we got two flags down over there to the north. Three flags down. And the Union has their flags down. They will not be able to sustain this fight here. This map is over. Union is gone. 
utterly defeated. You're playing the old way, guys. This is what happens. CSA is playing the way they need to play. Concentrated. Together. Protecting their flags. Doing concentrated charges. Retreating back to a defensible position when you need to. You're doing all these wide little, you know, fancy flank maneuvers. That shit don't do anything anymore, man. It's over. Now, if they're stupid and they charge after you, you know, and, and get taken off the decisive point, yeah, but if you're smart, which the CSA is right now, no. It's it's done. It's over. We're at 19 minutes, and the Union is a breath away from breaking. And they have one, two, at least two of their flags down right now. You cannot stand in a gunfight in a, with a unit that has a flag if you don't have a flag. You gotta outnumber them substantially. I'm talking like, you know, by you know, by 10, 15 guys. You know, for the size of these get formations them, here, them, come on. you're not gonna win all of this. Wilkes are trying to move to the north. They're trying to go fucking yeah, hold 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 yeah, their whole team is swinging off to the north. Now the Union is forced to sit here on point, and it's probably going to get slammed by Artie, and that might just get them down themselves. Yeah, we want to zoom out here on the map. You know, you got an L formation here, and you got a bit of an angle over here, but frankly, this doesn't do for you anything. What are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to take this point. This point don't matter. It's about to be a fight over the point here momentarily. And then you got the CSA all concentrated on the cover. Sticking together, getting their flags, keeping them up. Are we just like whites? Okay. No. If you don't have a flag and you're fighting somebody with a flag, then yes, you will be wiped very quickly. Now these guys are over here, but you know, momentarily, they're gonna, you know, the fight's gonna be on point. Are you guys going to be in a position to help it? CSA is up more than our morale state right now. Yeah, that's all their flags on point. Back to the CSA just pushes right now, which I think they can do. They will knock him down to breaking and probably win. Keep it going. Get up there. Come on. Oh, excuse me. They're charging up, boys. Braves, Braves, Braves. This will probably do it right here, to be honest with you. Oh, shit. The last couple out of lines. Yep, there it is. Breaking. Who's left to do anything about it? Oh, you guys. Oh, how soon can you get there? Not in time. Hey, it's holding on the point. Oh, point. Oh, it's, uh, lock it nice and good. Right, on right. Left and right, left oh. and right, left and right. Left and right, everywhere, everywhere, so, every, right everywhere. Back, back, back. <laughs> Get back. Wait, on the road? There's more. On the road. Now, there's no steam chat, and it's dark. This is not easy to coordinate. But, that's even for both teams. One team stayed together. 
pretty much the whole time internal lines and other team is off scattered which team is dominating you want me to go go where you want me to go go Nice little delay action by 8th Alabama. That'll be the end of that. Not much to say. Great play by the CSA. Not good play by the Union. They had a nice idea for that counter charge. I, I thought something was developing there, but they got too complacent. They're like, oh, I can reload. I can get my men back. No, 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 no. You got an advantage. You need to drive it home. You need to finish it. Bradley, I think, had the right idea, but he didn't have enough to really do it. And these wide flanks, we had the action for a minute, two minutes. They don't do they don't do that much anymore. Not with the five second setting. So PB has won the first battle of their campaign and has knocked out the 32nd Ohio. We got one more map to go.